Hello, everybody, and welcome back to <laughs> 10 Minute Reviews. This is Freya. <laughs> and I am Jason. And I'm Amy. And we're bringing you today's episode. <laughs> what are you doing? As always, please hit the like and subscribe <laughs> buttons for every subscribe we get. She's going to get 10 belly rubs and a T R E A T. Our dog knows English. And for every like, we're going to go ahead and give her a belly rub. Just one. So, uh. So, one yeah. sad belly rub. So, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And otherwise, we're going to get into today's book. Um, and author. I'm going to slightly talk about the author um, and the book. And today I want to talk about Chosen Soldier by Dick Couch. Now this is one of the few non, uh, non-fiction non books that, uh, that we've talked about up to this point. So as always, I'm going to talk about four things. I'm going to talk about the world, I'm going to talk about the characters, I'm going to talk about the plot, and I'm going to talk about the writing style. The first three are going to be really, really short because again, this is non-fiction. So the world Look around you. When we're done talking about the world. The characters, it's not a character-driven book. It's going to talk about individual people, real people, but it's not really so much driven by the characters. Dick Couch, it really really the author is, is the one that, that is the real character, I suppose, behind this book. Um, and you know, even the plot is not necessarily a plot. Couch is a former Navy SEAL and a long ago Navy SEAL. So he is, I'm talking Vietnam era. Um, he may have even been a UDT before the SEALs were the SEALs. Um, he is recognized as a, as a, uh, um, an old soldier and a very, very respected soldier within the special operations community. Chosen Soldier is the story of, of uh, Special Forces selection, assessment, and training. He, Couch is the only author that has been allowed to attend and view with the purpose of writing the selection processes of every special operations force in the United States. Sure, there, there have been some, um, some books that uh, you know, can talk about Hell Week and got to witness part of Hell Week and things like that. Couch got to witness the entire six-month pipeline for Navy SEALs. He doesn't just talk about uh, um, the selection and assessment for Green Berets in Chosen Soldier. He also talks about the Q course. He talks about the Robin Sage, which is on Fort Bragg. When I was at the 82nd Airborne Division, we would play Op 4 for them sometimes to absolutely hilarious results. Um, he, ta he talks about all of it from the beginning to the end. And it is absolutely fascinating. If, you, if you're a fan of Nonfiction. If you're a fan, if you enjoy reading about the military, and if you enjoy reading about what the soldiers go through, and especially the elite soldiers, the best of the best, you would love any of Couch's books. But Chosen Soldier about the Green Berets and Special Forces, because there is a difference between Special Forces and Special Operations. Special Forces is only Army Green Berets. Special Operations covers. Pretty much everything we've got from MARSOC to the SEALs to the, the uh, uh, PJ, Air Force PJs and Air Force Weathermen to, uh, and yes, Air Force does have a special operations weathermen, um, to Rangers, to Green Berets. He covers it all, and it is all absolutely fascinating. So again, if you really enjoy this kind of stuff, a lot of nonfiction books, especially ones talking about the military, talking about selections, the ones that go through that stuff and see that stuff, they, um, they're really dry. They're really dry. They're really, really boring reads. Couch is a great author. He is so engaging. You, you almost cannot put the book down. It is so, so, so good. And sometimes you just get, sometimes he just gets kind of kind of lucky in his connections as well. Well, this one is about the Green Berets and their, their, uh, their selection, training, and, and qualifications. He has a two, book, two books, actually, about the SEALs, because the SEALs have um, a much, much, much longer pipeline than people think they have. BUDS is, is just the first part, even though that's months long, but then they have a, a six, six or 12 month long uh, multi-phase training period as well. But when he witnessed, when he watched a, uh, a SEAL training class, Go, go through uh, their training and, and their Hell Week. It just so happened, by sheer coincidence, it just so happened to be Marcus Luttrell's SEAL training class. So Couch, actually in his book on the SEALs, talks about Marcus Luttrell 
because um, he, he ends up being one of the standout uh, um, candidates through this, this um, selection training process. Mark, the same Marcus Luttrell then ended up having his own book and being the center of a, a major blockbuster movie and played by um, um, that one guy, Mark Wahlberg. Oh. Um, you know, the lone survivor. That was Marcus Luttrell. So, uh, yeah, Couch, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic book. So, again, if you like this kind of stuff, nonfiction, military, just fascinated by what the soldiers go through, please check out Couch and any of his military books, any of them. They're, depending on, you know, whatever, what's your flavor. Navy, Marines, Air Force, Army, he's got multiples on all of them. Check it out. Please hit the like and subscribe button so we can give the pups some treats and belly rubs. And oh. we will catch you next time. She she perked up. We will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Bye.